What's up everybody? I just wanted to let you guys know that today is day 50 of my challenge to myself to um, do 100 days of not skipping a single day of doing a workout, not skipping a single day of doing cold and water exposure, and doing my affirmations and scripture study and things like that. I've hit it to day 50. Um, I can definitely say that this has been one of the single most beneficial challenges that I've ever taken on for myself. I think that putting my personal needs first every single day has made a huge difference with me actually hitting a lot of the goals that I've been struggling to hit for myself for a really long time. Um, it, it's been just life changing. I would totally recommend it to anybody who thinks that they might want to, you know, do this. Um, get up in the morning and don't have time to think. Sometimes thinking is, is where the battle is. Like we're mulling things around in our mind and you know, you give it like, um, give ourselves a chance to talk ourselves out of getting something done, right? That five second rule, like we have five seconds when we a thought hits our brain of something we might want to do or something that's different. And then five seconds later, our brain's like, oh, wait a minute and talks us out of it. When you get up every single morning and just immediately, like I stumble literally down the basement steps to the workout area and I don't have time to think about it. I just, I just immediately, I literally wake up doing my arm stuff. Like I just, it's been great. Um, I have started seeing some actual physical, you know, improvements in my body composition. I've been tracking everything from inches to muscle mass to fat mass to everything. I have a scale that shows, you know, if you're gaining or losing fat, if you're gaining or losing muscle, that kind of thing. I have gained muscle, almost an entire percentage of muscle since I started this. Um, my BMI has dropped almost an entire percentage. I've lost um, body fat. I've lost four and a half pounds in fat. And that's really exciting because I think about, you know, before I'd have been like, oh, only four and a half pounds. Well, you got to remember that it looks different when you're actually gaining muscle and losing fat, right? When you're losing poundage, it actually looks smaller. But it looks more like 10 pounds of weight loss rather than just five. And then if you think, how many sticks of butter is that, right? That's exciting to think about like, oh, you know, if you stack like four packages of butter on the counter and then put two sticks on top of that, that's how much actual fat I've lost, which is exciting. Um, I also want to let you guys know that I've actually hit five minutes of cold water exposure. I hit it way faster than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to pace myself a little more. But me being the type A kind of personality that I am, I was like, no, I can push a little further. And I, well, you know, I got there faster. But I'm really excited because that just gives me more time standing in the cold water and getting all those hormones that that boost in the hormones that helps with anti-aging and fat loss and all and you know makes you jump out of the shower and you're awake and happy and all that kind of stuff so i definitely am really excited about that um i have as far as the goals for um this last quad i was working on um trying to make sure that i could try to keep sticking to like budgets like finance budgets, uh, calorie budgets, things like that. I have had some success there. Um, I have a savings account that actually has money in it. Woo <laughs> I've been tithing, um, something I hadn't really done regularly in a long time. Um, and I actually saved enough in my, um, in my business account or my investment account where I was actually able to buy a piece of equipment for my new business. So I'm really excited about that. I was like, I'm actually moving in the right direction, cut back on um, consumer debt and things like that. Um, as far as the food budgets goes, I've had a lot of hit really, really good and then miss. So I could probably move a little faster with my body composition goals if um, I'd be a little more dedicated to maybe, you know, going under a little bit more in calories than what I've been. But I mean, I'm actually still moving forward. So if I have to go slow and then, you know, we'll just have to see how that goes. But I am sticking to my financial budgets, working on the calorie budgets a little bit more. Um, as far as 
my next goals my next goals is I just want to make this process subconscious I don't want to have to think about it at all I want to be able to just it'll be like brushing my teeth I'm gonna get up and immediately go work out and just continue this process for the rest of my life that's one of the goals moving forward um, another goal moving forward is to continue with um, the discipline that I've been applying in my budgets also, I've been uh, training with my husband. That's something that's been hit or miss um, since we've been together. He is a martial arts instructor. I know, I know a lot more than I think I know. If that makes sense, um, because once we start training, because even though it's been a while, I start picking it up really fast again. But I want to be consistent about training in the art. Um, I've started doing like a short little arm workout with him every day. And we're gonna start adding some training to that again as well. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but I will keep you guys updated and I can definitely, definitely say if this is something that I would totally recommend to anybody because it's definitely felt like something that has moved the needle forward faster than just about any other challenge that I've done. And getting up, starting your day off right because that's what everything boils down to, right? That's how we get to our goals is one day at a time, right? So if you start your day out right, actually got that momentum moving towards your goals. First thing in the morning, it's like it just kind of falls in place for the rest of the day. So it's definitely something I recommend and I'll keep you guys updated and I'll make another video on the next 25 days. Bye.